Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski. I am the owner of Tutor for Finance, and today what we're covering is how to calculate the beta of a portfolio. Uh, before we go into this, uh, let's first discuss briefly what beta means. A beta is simply the measure of a stock as compared to the overall market. For example, the market is considered to have a beta of 1. And if the beta of a stock or a portfolio is above 1, then this means that the beta or the stock is more risky as compared to the market. Conversely, if the beta is less than 1, then this stock or portfolio is considered to have a risk less than the market. Um, so, um, with that covered, let's talk about how you calculate the beta of a portfolio. Uh, for our example that we're going to be covering today is uh, the question we're going to be solving is John just inherited $100,000. He wants to invest this money in three stocks. His financial advisor recommends he invest $50,000 in stock A, $25,000 in stock B, and the remaining funds in stock C. Stock A has a beta 1.5, stock B has a beta of 0.8, and stock C has a beta of 1.2. If John adheres to his financial advisor's recommendation, what will the beta of his portfolio be? So to solve this, I, I'd love to go right to the Excel spreadsheet. And the way I would say, um, the way I would solve this is I set up a kind of a template um, that I can use, you know, pretty much for, you know, solving the beta of a portfolio, but also for solving um, the expected rate of return as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my labels. We're going to call this stocks. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put beta. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll put the weights. All right, so first our st we're going to have stock A. Then we're going to have stock B. And we have stock C. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put down what our beta is going to be. So the beta for stock A is going to be 1.5. Beta for stock B is going to be 0.8. And the beta for stock C is 1.2. Next thing we need to do is we need to find the weight of the um, the weight for each stock as compared to the portfolio. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to move this over one. And right here we're going to go ahead and put dollar invested. And we'll make this a little bit larger so we can read it. Dollar invested for stock A is going to be 50000 Stock B is going to be 25,000 and stock C is going to be 25,000 as well. Next thing I do is I always, always format my dollar so I have my commas in there. It makes it a little bit easier to read. All right, so next thing we need to do is we need to figure out what our weights are going to be. That's a little too dark. In order to figure out our weights, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to figure out the sum of how much we're investing. To do that in Excel, you're going to type your equal sign, SUM, open up a parenthesis, highlight all the numbers you want to add together, close the parenthesis, and now we've got $100,000 that are going to be, that's going to be invested. And as the question says, it is $100,000, and so we've got our dollar amount right. Next thing we need to do is we need to calculate the weights. So to calculate the weight, we are going to divide the dollar amount invested by the total amount of our investments, which is how much he inherited. So the weight for stock A is 50%. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom right, and we're going to make sure we have this pl little plus with the, the cursor turns to a little plus. And we're going to drop it down. That didn't work out. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and divide it. So we'll go ahead and divide 25,000 by the 100,000. That gives us a stop, um, gives us a weight of 0.25.
and we do this for the last stock as well. We take the amount invested in this stock and we divide it by the total amount and that gives us another 0.5. So now we have our weights. Next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to go ahead and get the weight of beta for the stock. In order to do this, it's as simple as taking the beta and we multiply it by the weight. Do the same thing for stock B. We're going to take the 0.8, which is a beta for stock B, and we're going to multiply that by the weight invested. And we're going to do this one more time. We're going to take the beta of stock C, and we're going to multiply that by the weight of the stock, and it gives us 0.3. The final step what we're going to do is we now add the beta, the weighted beta for each stock, and it comes up for 0.25. So what this tells us is that our weighted average, our weighted beta for this portfolio is 1.25. Hopefully this quick lesson on how to calculate beta of a portfolio um, is helpful for your finance class. If you have any questions or comments, please look me up at tutor4finance.com. Have a good day. Bye-bye.